you know, the traditional carnival with the horses in a home, you know, it's quite big, but it's just once a year. And they used to take me to watch it every year, so quite like it and start doing it. Well, I, I was doing like a traditional, like races in, in Sardinia, and I fell and I champion joke in Italy. He just starts messaging me like that I was brave to jump back on the horse after that. And I, I didn't know him and I just started looking into him and I went to the race and I saw and you know I was really excited so my dad let me come come over here and yeah from there after his history. <laughs> yeah like I was really keen and then the week before to come yet yeah, I was changing my mind. I was you know obviously I was scared I didn't know anyone here and what it was going to be but once I was here, I quite like it. But definitely the track had lots different, more difficult here than in Italy when they are just flat and circle. And obviously, yeah, we got better horses, I think, you know, better level. And it's just incredible. Yeah, so, probably still helped me a lot. You know, it gave me lots of riding, making me work harder than the others. Um, probably paid off. Yeah, definitely it's been incredible and, you know, it, been really amazing a uh, lot of success you know uh, obviously it was nice to have Royal Oscar winner and then Lista winner uh, group three winner so you know something special and I feel like it's happening so hopefully I can carry on and get the champion title over the far side, Real World with the white cap has the lead. The yellow cap has Joe King the near side, but Marco Gianni and Real World have won by many lengths. Well, obviously, it's not. It wasn't a bad horse, but you know, obviously, Royal Ascot and it was 33 runners, and you know, it was 50 to one. So, and he never ran on the grass before, so it was always you know unexpected. But it worked out really well. Well, first of all, get him out of the stores because he was he was slow away the time before, and obviously had the, the blindfold left on for the first time. Uh, we managed to get him out pretty well, and I just struck the pace, and and then the rest is just happened. <laughs> I love that. It's so nice to ride the Oscar. It was a year, two years ago, two days ago, I think. I am my first winner. Uh, yeah, it was five furlong race on equitation for, for the boss and it won really well. I think last year it was my first time on the Champions Day and when I went to walk the track and I put my foot on the track it got really emotional. Well, real was she running the Queen Elizabeth stake so I'm really looking forward to go back this year. <laughs> Yeah, no, look, Marco's done really well this year. He did really well last year, um, and then he went away to America for the winter, saved his claim, and come back, and he got off to a flyer, and he's he's, he's riding really well. Obviously, he's, he's running a group winner now as well. Um, it's been a it's been a very very good year for him. I'm delighted for him, and um, it looks like it looks like he's sealed the champion apprentice already. I know it's credit to him because there's a lot of good apprentices out there, and to be able to win the apprentice title halfway through the year, some going. Well, he always got just one chance, I think, to get it. So, I'm really looking forward for it. But when you win, you know, it's always a good feeling. And I think that always keep you going.